I'm back with the Rishta files. Sorry for being gone. Without further ado, we are going to be talking about one of the most uncomfortable experiences that we have as human beings. That is ending a relationship. It is something that creates quite a lot of anxiety and discomfort for the person who's ending a relationship and for the person who's on the receiving end of that. Regardless of how uncomfortable and unpleasant that experience may be, you are responsible as a human being to have empathy, compassion, and just regular decency. You have to break up with a person. Let's talk about how not to break up with a person. How not to break up scenario one. Go ahead and take a look. So scared of the roller coaster that he wants to go home. Get it together, man. It's just a roller coaster. Why are you wearing long sleeves? And did you just break up with someone and make crazy bear sounds afterwards? Oh no. I wanna break up. I can't do this. I wanna break up. I wanna break up. I don't wanna be here. I wanna break up. 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 I wanna I know relationships are like a roller coaster, but you took it too literally. I don't want to be here. Landon, we just... I don't want to be here. Okay. I want to be here. Actually, I do need a new handbag. Listen, I don't want to be here. Seriously? It's stupid. Why do we have to stop for your stupid girl clothes? And this is not clothes. If I were to wear this, I would be okay, arrested. Okay, stupid girl accessories. I don't even... What? Sir, really? I don't even care, you know? Okay, Landon, I just... I'm having a really hard time trying to deal with the stress, paying the bills. No. no. What do you bills do you pay? What bills do you pay? Tell me. Um, what, what bills do you pay? I pay for my credit card. Don't even on these stupid persons. It's just, it's necessary to carry all of my <laughs> stupid it's, it's called the sack. The guy wearing what? his this old is... high school okay. choir club t-shirt is giving style tips. I love wearing no. the sack. No, no, no. Okay, no, listen. Did this, did this, did this, unacceptable. I don't want to do this anymore. Landon. Just shut up. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up, Landon. No, okay, listen, okay. I'm sorry, you, you need to calm down. No, I can't. You need to calm no, down. No, you just, you just, you need to touch my buttons. Down. You well, pushed you my buttons to... and it's not going to work out with us, okay? You're raising your voice. Just. Yes, yeah, so are you. No, okay? I am not raising my voice. Stop it. Stop it. You know what? Okay, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, Landon, I just, don't stop. do that. Stop it. You have a key. Stop it. I don't have the keys. Landon, no! Don't be the jerk that gets in the way of a woman and a Macy's sale.
Hi. Um, hello. Uh, sorry to stop your shopping and end your evening. Hello. Uh, I just have a very special message for a very special girl. This is where we met three months ago. Oh my God, there are people looking. <laughs> this is where we first saw each other and this is where I fell in love with this you. Is so cute. And, and you're my absolute jan and you had me that day at hello when you said hello to me. I mean after I said hello, anyway, you're my jan, you're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie, you're my absolute jan and... Um, anyway, keep going. Um, uh, you, jan there's a janitor cleaning up and there's a train coming through it's like can you you cannot write this stuff oh. <laughs> you're my cutie pie you're my cutie pie you're my show you're my everything and, and and i know you find this cheesy but but i want everyone to know you make me really happy and i have a little poem for you and i'd I like everyone to hear this when you smile the whole world stops and stares for a while and my heart ceases to beat and there's nothing else that I seek except you. Aww, this poor guy is so endearing and earnest. A for effort, despite its tragically awkward presentation. And I just have one question for you. Oh, no, 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 You truly make me the happiest person on earth. <gasps> tip you may not want to do a surprise proposal in a public place where everybody else can see just in the off chance that she may not actually accept when somebody's proposing to you in a public place you know just just for the sake of humanity can you just say yes and then walk outside and then break to the person time several years back I met someone from shadi.com we hit it off it was an instant connection after getting to know each other on the phone we met in person in Florida he introduced me to his brother's family who he was visiting in Florida and I introduced him to my family and my aunt's family who lived in Florida it was an amazing first meeting Another month goes by and things get even more awesome. This person I felt connected to more than anybody else that I ever have met. We both felt like we found the person. Um, so obviously the parents come down and meet my family in Houston. Uh, we hung out for two days and it was, I was walking on clouds. The auntie asked my mom um, where she could find a jewelry store. And in our culture, when you buy jewelry for the girl, it basically means that um, it's bat paki, or an informal way of saying that things are set between the guy and the girl. After those two days, uh, my mom and the, the mom and his mom spoke, my father and his father spoke. They talked about how much they liked my family, how much they liked me, et cetera, et cetera. We're all getting really excited. You know, one week goes by, two weeks goes by, but we're anxiously waiting for the guy's family to formally ask. A month goes by from that visit and I get a phone call from the guy and he tells me that his family is not interested in our family because we're Heather Badi and I'm the same age as him. He's one week older than me. What? what? Like really? Tum logon ka dimaag kharab ho gaya? 
He decides to tell me this, to drop a bomb on me the day before my licensed professional counselor exam. Seriously, could you have waited a few more hours? Could you have waited another day? The, the level of your selfishness is just off the charts. This exam, which I've studied for for the last three months, and is the most important exam for my psychotherapy career. I cried till 4 a.m. at night. I don't think I've cried that hard in my life. I literally ran out of tears. Because I studied my butt off, I passed my exam with extremely high marks. Thank you God, because I really had no sleep for that exam. Luckily, the day after my exam, I had set up a celebration uh, at my sister's place in Chicago and my two cousins were flying up to meet me and they were gonna celebrate with me. Um, obviously, when I got to Chicago, I was crushed. The mixed messages that the mother and father were giving to our family was unacceptable. In this day and age, we still live in a patriarchal society which puts a value on the groom's family over the bride's family. And I would like to say that we need to put an end to this. People who are watching this video, um, please be thoughtful of how your parents interact with a girl's family. There is absolutely no reason to lead a person on. We can be direct and polite and respectful. Don't end things the day before an important exam. On my last video, entitled Majnu. I shared with you my own personal story of an individual who decided to utilize the ghosting method. Um, unfortunately, the ghosting method is seeming to be on the rise. Uh, research has shown that between 25 and 45 percent have either been ghosted or have ghosted a person. The definition of ghosting is when you abruptly cut off communication with a person. Um, this is the most cowardly thing that you can do. This affects future relationships because the individual who's been ghosted uh, develops distrust in another person. Another way that people are breaking up is called the fade out. Ooh, oh, that's cute. The dreaded fade out.
delayed responses, low text message ratio, avoiding calls, rescheduling plans, lying, making excuses, putting them on the back burner. They'll get the message. Actually, they may not. It may backfire. Also, it's insincere and unnecessary. When you don't want to hang out the person, you don't want to pursue that relationship, again, be direct and be honest. The fade out method of breaking up with a person is problematic from a psychological point of view. First of all, the mixed messages that you send to a person is a form of conditioning uh, that you may remember in your Psych 101 class. You're giving the person intermittent rewards. This actually makes the person confused and more likely to contact you because you are giving them signals which they are not able to predict, therefore causing them to reach out to you more. It's not a good idea. Human beings and animals base their behavior on social cues. They read a situation, they, they read signals, and then they behave based on that. So when a person gives mixed messages and mixed signals, it really makes it very difficult for us to interpret your behavior. Please be very clear in your communications. Yes. The peak times of breaking up in the US are spring break, the holidays, New Year's. In the last 50 years, there's been a major shift in the way that people break up. Let's take a look at the generational differences between those individuals born before 1975 in comparison to those born after 1984. Unfortunately, breaking up in person decreased from 74% to 47%. Breaking up on the telephone increased from 16% to 30%. And unfortunately, instant messaging has introduced yet another way to coldly break up your relationship. Thus indicating a marked decline in interpersonal communication skills One of the easiest ways to do this is to actually practice breaking up with a person. You can practice in front of a mirror, you can practice with your friend, go through the various uh, potential situations which may come up. Uh, that is going to help you bring the anxiety level down when you are going through the motions of the breakup or ending of a friendship. This can help you overcome that anxiety discomfort, and nervousness when you have to approach the topic. The general rule is if you've been talking to each other, uh, be it on the phone, hanging out in person for at least a month's time, that requires an in-person or on the phone breakup. Absolutely under no circumstances is it okay to text message a person that you no longer want to see them after you've developed a relationship. Another thing, please don't ask to stay friends. You know that nobody's gonna be friends. Please don't be like, oh, let's keep in touch. Please. Majority of the time, it's because you still wanna be with them and plan on going in for round number two. exit survey after your relationship. You can learn from your experiences. 
we can't just have this argument over and over. I think we just like need to end. I just, we need to break up. Uh, okay. Fine. Fine. So, you know, good luck with everything. Yeah, you know, inshallah, I hope you find what you're looking for. All right. Well, take care. All right, later. Please stay on the line for a brief relationship exit survey. This call may be recorded for quality and obsessive purposes. What is the primary reason for this breakup? What has this relationship helped you learn about yourself? What, if anything, would you change about the relationship? What, if anything, would you change about me? Do you think I'm fat? Why are you doing this to me? Do you think you're going to find someone better than me? Because you're not. I hate you. Those people that are not meant to be in your life are like weeds. So go ahead and cut those weeds out so you can continue to grow. Um, yeah. <laughs>